Hi class, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today, it's all about tangent second segment theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now before we analyze the theorem, we need to know first what do you mean by second and what do you mean by tangent. So some will pronounce this as secant. So a second, a line intersect at a circle at exactly two points. While the tangent, a line intersect at a circle at exactly one point. So we have a circle right here. We have this line, okay, the blue one. And we have another line on the bottom. So you will be asked where is the second. So the second here, class, is a line that intersect at a circle at two points. So this is the second. Sir, why is it the second? Because there are two points intersect in this circle. Okay. As you can see, there's a line right here. And there are two points intersect in the circle with this particular line. And for the tangent, there's only one point intersect in the circle. So, this is the point and this is the line. So, we call the tangent. Sir, why is it tangent? Because there's only one point intersect in the circle. Okay? Now, it says in the theorem, okay, if there are given numbers right there, the given equation, so you can solve that. By this theorem, it says on the theorem, okay, the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the measures of the second segment and its and its external segment. So, okay, so sir, what is that? Okay, let me explain that. What do you mean by that one, sir? Okay, let me explain that to you. So. The square of the length of the tangent segment, so this is the tangent, so the tangent here, I write as t, so the variable is t, so the square of t, okay, let me write that, the equation, the square of t, okay, t square, the square of t is equal, so it's equal there, class, do not forget, that would be equal sign, is equal to the product of the measure of the secant segment, or second segment, so the product of the measure of the second segment, so the second segment class, this one, okay, the S, S here, so this will be the, the, the second segment, okay, S, once again, do not forget this one, this is the second line, second segment, so the product of S, so since this is product, we need to multiply another uh, external the product, okay, the, the measure of the product of the second segment, once again, class, the product, it means that there are two numbers being multiplied or two variables being multiplied, and their answer is the product. So, the measure of the second segment, so this is the second segment, and it's external second segment, so this one. The external segment of the second, this one, the R, okay, times R. So, that's it. That's the equation. Sir, once again, let me repeat it back. Sir, how will you find the tangent? To find the tangent class, that would be the square of the tangent. Okay, square of the tangent is equal to the product. Okay, product, it means there are two numbers or two variables being multiplied. So, the product of the second segment, this one. Okay, the second segment and its external. Okay, second segment and its external. So, that's it. That's the formula in getting the tangent. So for you to really understand this one, do not be right. Let's let's try an example. So what if we say, okay, let's try an example for this a given equation or given illustration. Okay. Alright, let's try an example for you to really understand this one. Okay. Let's put a number. Or let's put a uh, given letters for this. Okay, what if we say this is a point A? And this is point P, and this is point C, and point D. Alright, so you are told to find, what if you say you are told to find this one? Find X, alright? You are told to find X, or find line DX. Sorry, line DC, I mean. So what if we say AB, okay? AB is equals to 9. Or 7, what if we say AB is equals to 7 and BC is equals to 9? Alright, so AB is equals to 7 and BC is equals to 9. You are told to find DC, this tangent right here. Okay. 
So, AB, let me write it. AB, line AB is equals to 7. Line BC is equals to 9. And you are told to find DC. Sir, what is DC? Line DC. Sir, what is DC? DC will... Do not forget, class. DC is the tangent. Sir, why is it tangent? Because there's only one point intersect in this circle. This line. Okay, this line is a tangent of a circle. We are told to find this this one. So, do not forget that the tangent, okay, the tangent segment is the square, okay, square of tangent. So, the, okay, this one, the square of DC. So, it would be square of this tangent. So, that would be DC. DC squared, line DC squared, equals, okay, is equal to the product of the measure of the second segment. So, this one. The measure of the second segment, so since AB is 7 and BC is 9, so you need to add 7 and 9. So BC is A and C, so the, 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 the sum of A and C, so 7 plus 9, that would be, okay, that would be 7 plus 9, that is 16. Okay, multiplied by the external segment, the external second segment, this one, BC, multiplied by 9. Okay. So actually this is the external the exter, uh, the segment the second segment is AC. So this is AC line AC multiplied by line BC. Sir, what is BC? The external segment and the second segment. So substitute DC is x. We don't have the value of x. So x squared equals AC is 16 times BC is 9. So once again, the second segment multiplied by the external segment. So this is x squared equals 16 times 9. Let me multiply that. 16 times 9. So this is okay, 54, 4, carry 5. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 5, 14. 144. So x squared is equals to 144. Then you need to extract square root both sides to get rid of this 2 here, the exponent of 2. Extract square root both sides. Alright, so our x equals to the square root of 144, that would be 12. Okay, so the tangent, the equivalent of line DC is 12. So that's it. That's how you solve for the tangent. Okay. Now, let's try another example for us to really understand this one. Okay, let's try another example. Okay. Alright, what if we say, alright, so we have a circle, then we have a second and a tangent. So once again, class, this is the tangent, uh, the, the line on, the, on the, the top part, TP. Line TP is the tangent, and this is the second. Line AP is the second since we have... Uh, there are two points intersect in the circle, line AP. So, TP is the tangent, AP is the second. So, PT is 6. So, PT is 6. So, this one, the tangent is 6. So, you have already the, the given tangent, which is which is 6. PB is 3. So, this one, PB is 3. Then, AB, you are told to find AB. So, AB is S. Alright, so you don't have the the value of AB, so we can put that as X. X. Alright, so once again, our equation, do not forget that the equation is the square of this tangent multiplied by the product of the length and this external line. So this is, so let me write the equation. So this is, okay sir, could you write the equation? This is? PT, okay, so PT, the tangent, PT squared, right. PT squared, once again, the square of the tangent, this one, PT, is equals to the product of, okay, the product of the second, so this is the second here is 3, since we don't have the value of AB, so that would be 3 plus X, okay, the PT here is 3 plus X, because P, PB is 3, and BA is X, so 3 plus X. 
So the second segment is 3 plus x. Sir, why is it 3 plus x? PB is 3 and AB is x. So you add 3 plus x. So 3 plus x. Multiplied by, so you multiply this one by the external segment, which is 3. Alright, let me just, okay, let me write the equation first. So P, that would be PB, sorry, that would be PB plus AB times PB. And you'll be asking, sir, why do we need to add PB and PA, uh, BA, since we don't have the value plus, we don't have the value of PA. We don't have the exact value of PA. So that's why we need to add PB and BA so that we can get this, this measure second. Alright, so PT, substitute, our PT is 6, so 6 squared. So this is 6 squared equals, our PB class is 3. 3 plus AB is X multiplied by PB, the external, is 3. So this is 6 times 6 is 36 equals distribute class, distributive property. Cannot forget, distributive property. Okay, this one, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 3 times X is 3X. Alright, next we need to transpose 9 from right to left. Transpose 9 from right to, right to left. So that the remaining equation on the right side will be 3x. So, 36 minus 9 equals 3x. 36 minus 9, that would be 27. Is equals to 3x. To get the value of x, divide both sides by 3. Divide 3, divide 3. So, our x is equals to x is equals to 9. You can write this as x equals 9. That would be the same. So our x is equals to 9. So that's it. That, that's it, class. That's how you solve for uh, tangent and second segment theorem. So you need to remember that the square of the tangent is equals to the product of the second and its, and its external segment. So that's it. So I hope this video helps. If you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your classmates and to your friends. And I hope you learn a lesson new today. I hope you learn a new lesson today. By the way, our second topic will be segment segment theorem. So do not forget about that. And you have a great day. Goodbye for now.